Hey you guys, what is up? What is happening? What is going on with you today? I am Ashley with AHM Artistry and for this video today, I want to utilize basically all my recent purchases from the Jeffree Star launches, the conspiracy palette, the mystery boxes, all of that fun stuff. Really quickly, I do want to say that there are a couple spoilers in here if you are trying to avoid the mystery box details and everything like that. There are some spoilers, so you might want to watch this later and come back and watch it when you have opened your boxes. But anyways, let's resume. I want to create a little holiday look for you guys today. So that is basically what you see right here here minus one little thing. I am going to be trying on the mystery lip for you guys. So that mystery stocking lip that came in the mystery box. So I have lots of lots of fun goodies. We're going to use the peppermint frost palette. I'm going to be using the conspiracy palette to create this look today. And then I'm even going to utilize the supreme frost that I got. Yes, this dark green one. I'm going to show you how I like to use it, how I figured out a way to use it. Even though I have a light skin tone and it looks really dark for a highlighter, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and some tips and tricks that I've learned with the conspiracy palette. And some of it was your guys' tips. And I just love that so much that I want to share it with everybody else who maybe didn't see those tips. So there you go. Now we're going to jump into that little tutorial in just a second. But before I do, I would love it if you would consider at any point in time in this video going down and hitting that little red subscribe button. That way you get notified when I post more videos, which is about three times a week, all beauty related and 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 so much fun. So come, come join us. Come join the lot of us. But enough jibber jabbing enough about all of that. If you want to see how I created this eye look and how I utilize all of these newer Jeffree Star holidays, holiday launches and then you're in the right place. So all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight and keep on watching. Boop. All right, so brows are already done, of course, because that's the way I like to do it. Now I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer, since we're kind of doing the Jeffree Star theme right here. This is the white one called C0. And I had a recommendation from a couple of you guys on the Conspiracy Palette video that I did to kind of help make the colors pop a little bit better to use a white concealer. And you know what? I tried it this way and I was like, that does help, that does. So try that out. There is a good couple of good dupes for like a white concealer. There's one from ColourPop that I've heard is really good, the No Filter Concealer. There's a couple other ones floating around. So you don't have to do like this high end one just for this white shade. But I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes really quickly using this. All right, and now I'm gonna grab my blue blood palette since um, that was in one of the mystery boxes. So I'm gonna take this shade Wealthy right here. This is the only thing I'm gonna use from this. Uh, it's just a base shade. Use whatever base shade you would like, but I figured I'd use this since a lot of people might have gotten it recently. You know, just pop that right underneath the brow just to set that one little area because I want the pigment to stick to the rest of the primer that we laid down. All right now, diving in to the Conspiracy palette. So I'm gonna first start with the shade Illuminati, but what I found with these these weird shades that are kind of metallic, kind of matte, kind of weird, kind of yeah. I'm gonna take my setting spray. This is a Tarte Stay spray, but, what, but whatever will do, or a little bit of water, and I'm gonna spray my brush on both sides with that. And then I'm gonna dip into that shade. And then I'm gonna start it right, right here in the center there. And then yeah, you can see that it's much more metallic that way. If I try going in with just a dry brush, it's patchy and it takes a lot, a lot of work to build up. This way is so much quicker and easier. I don't love that you have to use a spray to uh, to really get it to work and perform well, but it is what it is and at least we found a way to use it, am I right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and use this little angled brush and I'm gonna dip into Not A Fact right here. I just realized I still have the freaking stuff on there. Ah, oh. Now it's official, 10 looks later. <laughs> I'm gonna pop it right onto the outer and inner corners of my eyelid. Now I'm just gonna very gently blend into that other shade. Not really blend, just kind of pat it just so the two colors kind of mesh together, but I'm not like doing a swiper motion or anything. Now I'm gonna go in with this little tapered blending brush and dip into that same shade, but dust it off a lot. And I'm just gonna blend out that shade right up here. And on the outer corners too. And then go ahead and sweep it right across very gently, connecting it like a rainbow. <laughs> Now I wanna just make it a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna go in with Flamin' Hot on this really fluffy brush. This is Sigma E40. Tap off the excess and I'm very gently gonna blend out up here because it'll kind of brighten up that cranberry shade a little tiny bit. See, hopefully you can tell, I can tell. 
Now I'm gonna go with Conspiracy right here and take it right on my finger. Then I'm gonna pop it right on to Illuminati. Just made for like a really nice base and this will transform it to make it a little bit brighter and fun. Ooh, cool. And I'm gonna bring it right up here just so it kind of peeks out at the top of my, my eyes when I'm looking forward. And then just to fine tune a little tiny bit, I'm gonna go back in with Illuminati with my brush sprayed and just a little bit here on the corners, add some of it. All right, that is looking really cool and glowy. I'm loving it, but I wanna take it to the next level and I found a use for this Supreme Frost, so I'm super excited for it. Curiosity got the better of me on this one. I couldn't really find many swatches or many people using this Candy Apple Drip Shade. This is the Jawbreaker Collection from Jeffree Star and I got it in one of my mystery boxes and you'll see in a second. <laughs> It's straight up green and it's supposed to be a face highlighter. So I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow today. I actually did try to use it as a face highlighter and it wasn't that bad. And I'll, sh I'll show you how to use it in a, in a second. So it's not like a streak of green on your face. It's kind of cool. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. Look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. I didn't swatch it in my mystery unboxing videos because I didn't know if I'd be able to keep it or not. And like I said, curiosity got the better of me. So I'm gonna pop it right on top of this shade. <gasps> Do you see that? It's like so glittery and cool. So of course, if you don't have this, don't worry, this still looks popping, but this is next level. So if you ended up getting this and you're like, I don't know where I'm gonna find a use for this and how to use it, bada bing, bada boom, baby, here we go. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it, I'm obsessed with it now. Okay, cool. That's the fun of those mystery boxes, man. You get stuff that you didn't think that you, you wanted or you needed and then you find out. It's the love of your life, easy peasy. I'm gonna do my lower lash line really quickly. I'm literally just taking the same exact shades and doing a little blend on the lower lash line. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes, liner, face makeup, but I'm gonna save this stuff for after that. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, I am back and do not worry, I did not forget about the candy apple drip. I'll use that in a second, because first I'm gonna use the peppermint frost palette. So this was the limited edition palette that came in one of the mystery boxes that I un un unboxed earlier this week. I'm gonna go go in with Ugly Sweater because that name is just the cutest in the world and I love that shade. I'm gonna do a nice little swirl so I can try to get some of that pink, pinkish red tone in there. I really, I really wish that this had a mirror in it because I was even looking on my desk for a little mirror a second ago and I was about to pull this out and I was like, oh yeah, that doesn't have a mirror in it. I wish, I wish he went there. I mean, the snowflakes and stuff is cute, but I like my mirror. I do, what can I say? So I'm gonna have to use this one instead. Put that right on there. Oh. That is so sparkly and pretty. Oh, wow. So cute. This does definitely have like a kind of glitteriness to it almost. It's not like his Supreme Frost, but it's not, it's not like mm, finely milled either. It's a little bit in between. Oh, see that? I can really see the glitter on that one. So let me try doing Igloo on the nose, Igloo Gold. No, that one has like a glitteriness to it too. I can pat it out a little bit easier though. That one seems a little tiny bit more milled. Whew, I am frostbitten. I am peppermint frost. Mmm, mmm, I forgot that it smells like peppermint frost. I mean, peppermint candy. <laughs> That's so lovely, so yummy. Now to utilize the chocolate ice right here, I wanna try mixing it in with a matte contour shade, matte bronzer shade, I should say. So in my Smashbox Holidays palette from last year's holiday season, I'm gonna use this one right here. It comes, this right here, this trio is the same trio that's in the Smashbox contour kit. So this matte bronzer right here is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna dip into that one and chocolate ice together, kind of back and forth, tap off the excess, and I wanna see if I can use this as a little bronzer. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's a frosty bronzer. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, you can really see it up there. That is so cute. So this shade, the Chocolate Ice, will be so, so pretty on deeper skin tones, but if you have a lighter skin tone like me, try mixing it in with a matte bronzer because 
That is really, really, really pretty. Ooh. So I wanna take the candy apple dip now and I wanna use it very sparingly. Basically what I wanna do is get the green glitter flakes to come off onto my skin. I don't want it to be like, um, you know, grayish or too green or anything. What I noticed when I tapped it on yesterday and kind of blended it out with a clean finger that I would just get these, I don't even know if you can see it because my lights are so bright. I would just get the glitter flakes in there. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. It worked last night on my face. So I'm gonna just gently, do you, I hope you guys can tell because I can tell there's this little, little green shift. So I'm just ever gently patting and then if you think you did too much, take a clean finger and pat that out. Yeah, that is so cute. Oh yay, I am so, I am so excited to be able to use this. Of course, for deeper skin tones, you could probably go in a little heavier and you'll be fine. All right, so hopefully if you got that in your mystery box or maybe a different shade that you're not sure if you can work it with your skin tone, hopefully that little tip helped. But oh yeah, I wanna do one more thing though. I want to do a little inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take Peppermint Frost the Peppermint Frost palette. I'm gonna dip into Igloo Gold right here and a little bit of this candy apple drip. And I'm gonna pop it in right there. Oh, why isn't that as glowy? Uh, let me try doing Ugly Sweater. Oh yeah, Ugly Sweater is much better. Cool, cool, I am glowy. <laughs> oh, okay, one more product to try out today and that is the Mystery Lip mystery Christmas lip. I don't really know what to call it. Stocking mystery. That's what I'm going to use. You guys, this is so freaking pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. So let's try it on the lips today. I wish, why didn't he do peppermint for this one? Actually, no, I'm glad I take that back. I'm glad he did it because peppermint, my lips do not go well together. They just dry out, but it has no, no fragrance at all. Okay. Obviously it doesn't go with this eye look, but I want to try it on for you guys. That is so, so cool. Wow, that is like a glittery Christmas ribbon. Not glittery, just like super satiny, shiny, like a Christmas ribbon, but on my lips. That's exactly what it looks like. So, so pretty. And it like, it has like a glow to it. <laughs> that is gorgeous yeah i don't love it with this eye look it's a little much it's a little much so i might change into a nude but there there are all the fun products the conspiracy palette some stuff that we got in the mystery boxes i didn't use my liquid frost that i got today because i'm going to save it for a future video i think within the next week obviously i want to do like a winter type of eye look a non green and red like a bluish whitish type of vibe and i think that would go really pretty with that obviously so stay tuned for that 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 is the look and i'll be back in a sec and this is what the eye look looks like with a nude lippy <laughs> I used I used a lot of lippies. Sorry, I was trying to get like the perfect combination to make it a little bit more on the pink side. I used Mannequin first from Jeffree Star, and then I went in, basically, I used a couple things, but then I went in with the Sugar Plum from the Too Faced, uh, you better not glossy, pout, you better not pout, but if you do keep it glossy, something like that set. So that was just to kind of pinken it up a little bit. I think I put lip injection before that to, uh, you know, get a little plumping action look to my lips. So that is, that's a secondary look, so you can see both ways. And P.S. If you are interested to know what the rest of the makeup was that I'm wearing today and lashes and everything, I always list that down in the description box. So you can check that out if you do want to know. But that is it for today's video. I hope that I was able to share with you guys some tips and tricks to help get some of these products to work for you. And I hope that you got some inspiration for the holiday season that is upon us. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. That way you get notified when I post more videos, which is about three times a week. And if you are my OG fam bam, thank you guys so much for sticking around. For the holidays is a time to uh, tell everybody that you are grateful for them and thankful. And maybe that's Thanksgiving, but Christmas time too. And you know what? All year round, I am thankful for you guys so much. Thank you for coming and spending time with me and watching me try on makeup and talk about makeup and just have some fun. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope that every single one of you guys out there, every single one of you, yes, you, yes, you, go out there and have a great, freaking, awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. <laughs> with this little belt blah, blah, blah. so i want to take this one the candle apple dip candle i keep saying candle apple and ps ps no i already said ps but with the uh, let me start with blah, 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 blah.